Suppose nature gave a war and everybody came. The snakes, the birds, the lizards and frogs. And suppose that the polluters, the species on earth called man, were the enemy in that war. I first encountered the 1972 film Frogs in a Walmart bargain bin, back when DVDs were still a fairly new thing. On the cover you get this awesome image of a human hand dangling from a frog mouth with the tagline, Today the pond, tomorrow the world. How could I say no? Well, it turns out the cover is a bit misleading. There are no frogs large enough to consume a human in this movie. But what you do get are a range of actual amphibians, mostly toads, and a host of other reptiles including alligators, tegu, toke geckos, a yellow rat snake, and others. There are more toads than frogs in this movie, although toads technically are frogs, and specifically they're mostly cane toads. In fact, this movie is allegedly responsible for the partial introduction of cane toads in Florida where the movie was filmed, which means if you own a cane toad caught out of Florida, you may have the descendant of a movie star. Sam Elliott stars without his trademark mustache as a wildlife photographer who ends up getting his canoe upended and finds himself shacking up at the island estate of the Crocker family. The head of the family is played by Ray Millard. It's both his birthday and a 4th of July celebration, so his family is gathered there to celebrate, but he's a crotchety old man who, despite living on an island in Florida, absolutely detests anything natural. He's particularly annoyed by the increased calling of the local frogs. As the story progresses, members of the Crocker family get picked off one by one by the wildlife. It seems that nature has had enough of our shit, you see, and the Crockett family in particular is going to pay. Different animals off different people, and frogs aren't actually to blame for many of the deaths. But they're always there, singing. Perhaps they're the masterminds behind this revolt against humanity. Once you get past the fact that the title and artwork behind the movie are completely misleading, it's actually fairly enjoyable. Sam Elliott is always fun to watch, the deaths are absolutely hilarious, and naturally it's fun to pick out the different critters used in the film. The first time I watched it, I found myself disappointed, but I keep coming back to it and enjoying it more and more with each viewing. Frogs is coming.